Let's relate a shot in post. All right, so we have a shot that is kind of boring. It was just shot with soft boxes. As you can see here, it's pretty flat lighting. Uh, she's lit decently well, but the background is pretty bright. There's not much back here. There's not a lot going on. So the only thing that I could see doing is getting her to pop a bit more. So let's do that. Uh, first, I'll come in here and I uh, will pick a white bounce. That wall was looking pretty green. And uh, let's actually go in Huber Sat. And in her skin, we will add a bit more of red. I think that is a good spot for that. Uh, let's go back up. Okay. And then now I uh, want to get some contrast here. So I'm going to get a power window and we're going to first put it on her. So we'll do that. And then one on her face. So I'll make this a bit smaller, something like that. And the shot is on sticks. So it doesn't move around aka tripod. Uh, so we will just uh, track her face. Okay, and her body, she doesn't really move off that chair. So we don't have to really worry about tracking her body so much. So now that we have that, one other thing that I guess we could do to make this shot a little more interesting is we could over here, we could make it look like lights coming through like blinds. So we could add, you know, like a blind effect. So let's do that. Uh, we'll grab a power window that is a square. We'll shrink it up a bit. We will have them follow the same lines as these, these lines on the wall here. And we'll just do a small power window like that and then have some like feathering happen coming off. So maybe something like that. So we'll have one up here. And then we want to make it look like blinds. So we have to add a bunch of them. Uh, the only bad part is it'd be a pain in the ass to you know take this and resize it to make it the same size. So what you can do is you click on the power window that you want to copy its sizing. Come over to here, copy power window. Now we'll go to the other power window. So now it's highlighted. We will come in here and we will go paste power window. So it's just gonna paste the uh, location and size. And then because we just wanna bring it down, we'll use our uh, tilt here and then just bring it down. So we'll add another one, come over here, paste and boom. So let's do that quick. Okay, so now we have a couple of these over here. Now I want to get them all to work together. So we want to darken everything else outside of these power windows. So we're gonna first pick this as the outside and then clicking this button, it's going to follow suit whatever our uh, selection is. So we'll have this connect and then this one connect, that one connect, connect. So now they're all connected. And if you look over here, if we do this, we have all of these and this is connected, right? So now what we can do is for this whole node, for our uh, gamma and gain, which is our highlights and midtones, we'll just bring that down a bit for both of these, right? Now we have sort of like lights or like blinds over here and then she's lit and our background is pretty dark, okay? So now we have some of that contrast and yet we have this over here. One other thing that I'll do is now that we white balance this, uh, we can warm up her skin and then also warm up over here so that it looks like sunlight's actually coming through. And to do that, we'll just right click on here and then go to add outside. And that will just take whatever the mask is over here and it'll just invert it. So now we can affect everything that's inside. So now if we look at this and we, uh, our temperature slider, which is down here, our temperature, we can just increase this and add a little bit of warmth in there. And now you can see over here, it looks warmer and her skin is a little warmer. So I'll turn it off and then on, off, on. And it's only affecting right here and over here. Um, and you know, now it 
doesn't look as flat. There are a couple of little things that we can still change here, but it's adding a bit more to this shot. If you wanted to, you could actually make these a little thinner. So let's go in back over to this node. And one thing that I'll do is I'll just add a parallel, but I'll actually have the parallel outside here. So we'll have this connect over here, have this come into the parallel node, and then have this as my output. And for this little guy, we can work on this little light. So actually, let's just do this one first. So we'll bring our power window over here. So there we go. And now over here, we could come into our log wheels and drop the highlight value. And then our high range, we can edit that. And now we are affecting this here just so it's not you know so bright it's still going to be there but it's just not so bright so it's not so distracting the other thing is because this is so big this is also something that's kind of bright in the scene so we can just add another parallel node and we're adding that by either coming up here and adding um, parallel or alt p is what what i was clicking on my keyboard so we'll just come down here We'll shrink this up to this little box. I'm all I'm using is my mouse to um, zoom in and out and then holding in middle mouse to, to move uh, the shot around in this preview monitor. Okay, so something like that. And then we will take our midtone and we will just bring it down just a little bit. Let's look at this with it off and that's with it at it. We could add this, make this feathering a bit more so it looks a little more normal. And that's the idea of how to re-light uh, a shot so that it's uh, more pleasing and it, it doesn't really uh, take a lot of effort, it's just some creativity. Sometimes, you know, when you have shots or sets like this, you the primary thing is just to make sure that your talent is just lit correctly. And, you know, sometimes you get shots like this where everything is just super flat and, you know, you can just tell by looking at this how bright this is and that there's a little shadow here that all the light was behind the cameras just, you know, blaring on the subject and there was no flagging for the back wall. But um, if you just, you know, add a little bit in, you can make the shot look like this. And I think that this looks a lot more pleasing. You know, the the look over here with the blinds, you know, it's just like one of those little added things that you can add in to make the shot look a little more interesting. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, idea of how to use power windows to relay a scene in DaVinci Resolve. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.